Good morning, folks. We're going to look at solar activity, seismicity, a bit of weather as well, a complex magnetospheric physics concept, and a doozy for Mars. You're watching 171 angstroms of ionized iron in the corona here, showing magnetic arches above the sunspots. Let's go ahead and start with our star. Right now, we've got very little in the way of activity. Solar flaring is in low C-class range, with no sunspots actively firing at a significant level. We do have plasma filaments to watch, and they have been dancing, but not so much erupting. Small plasma jets out of the northern active region aren't making it out of the corona. We've got a bit of a solar wind enhancement from the coronal holes. Purple line is the plasma speed, and green, on the bottom, plasma temperature, showing a minor rise over the last day. It's a very weak interaction with the coronal hole stream, thus far resulting in a peak of only KP4, mild instability in the magnetic field. While the biggest earthquake of the last day struck the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, all of these are blood echoes here in South America, low velocity zone earthquakes. Hopefully, they don't jump up to a surface propagation of the sequence, as has been known to happen before. Folks, the cold records began falling and they're likely to continue as the winter storm moves across the U.S. and Canada. Freezing weather, even into the southern states, is going to be brutal with this system, which is also dropping considerable amounts of snow before unleashing the Arctic blast southward on its western side. Expect more low records to fall today. Good paper here on magnetospheric waves that interact at the solar wind foreshock location and are then translated to waves interior to the magnetic field. The matchup of the waves outside and in was long suspected based on data, but the mechanisms at play turn out to be quite complex. Something simple, however, is that the waves that get interior propagate all the way to the Earth's surface, one of the many ways space weather impacts us here on the ground. Up next, it's Mars. Not only do we have information that its magnetic field was more robust and long-lasting than they used to believe, but it had magnetic reversals as well, magnetic pole shifts. What will we see in the coming years as its mantle superplume continues to rise? Perhaps a reawakening of the red planet, volcanically, magnetically, or otherwise. Lastly, folks, the next live Observer's event is in Cheyenne, Wyoming on January 7th. Come out and see us, and we look forward to shaking hands and chatting science with you guys over lunch and good company. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to tickets for the Cheyenne event and much, much more are found in the description box below the video. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.